dude out here by the name of Andrew Tate, man, and um, he started popping out here on the internet, hitting huh. different platforms, working with other creators. Okay. And he kind of was giving the like braggadocious style and you know speaking on women and, and things like that. Started to get under people's skin. Okay. You know, rubbing people the wrong way and everything. And I, from my understanding overseas, <laughs> they um, already had been on this bump or been on this trail with charges and SWAT hitting his house and everything over there in Romania. Basically, he global, to my understanding. They banned him from like all the internet sources and everything, internet outlets and everything like that. Couldn't have online platforms. So it ended up getting to a point where, hey, they kept going after him, going after him, and now they didn't arrest him. He rich, though. He got the paper, got the bread, but they charging him with organized crime and sex trafficking. Supposedly, I was told, and I could be wrong here, that the women he messed with, they into that type of stuff. That is okay. voluntarily. Okay. But they said he would force the women to do this, do that, whatever. But, hey, he in there now. He's sending messages from the jail through Twitter. And some of the things he was saying was this. There are two possible futures of the universe. One, they kill me. Two, I emerge as one of the most respected, influential men on the planet galvanized by false persecution. I asked my enemies to make a choice. I will stay awake tonight, prepare for mortal combat. Send your best. He also spoke on how they was trying to break him in there. Go and break him. So, uh... When you see that going on with somebody, man, I'm going to say innocent till proven guilty, you know, claims, but let them know how I get in there, what they doing when they saying, nigga, oh, man, they might kill me in here, or they uh, trying to kill me, or they might, they trying to break me, what's uh, going on? <laughs> oh, thank you from H-Town. Yep. I, I started small time dope gang cocaine, pushing blocks on the right there. I'm never broke, man. Pump a jury in you came and rolling hard. Yeah. Now you locked up and you can't even call on God. <laughs> Boss. That part. Uh. Boo hoo, nigga. Boo hoo. Don't, don't. Come on, we don't. Hey. Get tired of you niggas getting locked up thinking we finna get out here and do all your politicking for you. Y'all can't internet us, niggas. You fuck yours out. You had a chance to be out here with us doing what we was doing. And you know, I sound like a whole mark. That's nigga don't right now. I remember they used to tell me that. I said, nigga, that nigga saying all that. You know, we like that. Well, he ain't saying nothing wrong. I had to learn. Hey, I can't talk to y'all about it if I ain't been through it myself. So I know how y'all feel when a nigga say something like that. But check this out. You niggas put yourselves in there. Don't get the right and telling everybody, to get, yeah, man, I'm telling you, because we don't want to hurt shit. The clock has stopped. I mean, uh, <laughs> On your end. <laughs> Life goes on out here. Yeah, we, we, we still living out here. Life goes on out here. We living out here. We got to wake up every morning. You know, like this. Uh -uh. They have something to do. Y'all got to get told what to do. Y'all going to tell them what to do too? Yeah. Yeah. It's over with. No, nigga, no. Don't be trying to tell us to do something for you. Cause the other week, now you was got big, but you not, you can't be a little quick. Uh, you, you can't build a railroad on the ground and get out. Your money ain't that type of money. And even if you did, they gonna come get you. <laughs> oh, it, oh, you can ask that little railroad under the under, under the guy. I didn't work for the feds, and it came ready and got him again. Shout out to El Chapo. You ain't got that type of money. Nigga, you weren't dropping bundles out the plane? Well, I can't say what you were doing. I, I, don't, I don't know if we, we be way low there somewhere, your money. You got overseas money. <laughs> your money don't even look like my money. Your money probably, my, I still got green and white money. Regular dollar bills. Yeah, your rainbows over in the pack. What the f is that? Oh, nigga, this is it's a thousand dollars in your neighborhood. Damn, I mean, I, I don't have a thousand dollars where I'm from. We're lying. Yeah, one of these is a thousand dollars U.S. money. People are lying. <laughs> no, I'm not. But anyway, um, Senator, to say this, man. Um, when you f 
your luxury of life, nigga. Quit crying about it. You didn't want it. I keep giving something away and then keep asking for it back. <laughs> Let y'all suck in there for a minute, man. How you need to keep giving something away and keep asking? How you need to keep giving your freedom away and then keep asking for it back? Like I said, like y'all catch it that time? How you keep nigga, giving something away, nigga, you know, and then keep asking for it back? And you just gave it to me. If you didn't want me to have it, don't give it to me, nigga. I used to tell niggas, I ain't gonna give a nigga nothing that I know I can't afford to give him. And I can't afford to give him no more of my time. <laughs> How about that? I can't afford to give him no more of my time. You ought to say the same thing, because life ain't, it ain't time no more, y'all. Quit saying he out doing time. Doing time. Yeah, let's take that out the equation. UPT, we saying we ain't doing time no, t no more. What we doing? Wasting life. You don't say you're wasting life. Say, ain't wasting life. Where are you wasting life? Ain't got nothing to do with time. Time is ticking, but life is uh, going away. Every day you in that, you can't get that bit of time. One thing we know, as, as me, myself, you can't even do the time. You ain't got enough life when you do time. Time gonna do itself. You gotta do your life, because by the time you die and be gone, that time, get what time doing. Old song, old nigga made would say, time keeps on ticking, ticking. Yeah, that part. I'm playing, man. Uh, quit giving something away that you can't afford to give away, man. And then you get in there, you, you start crying for it back. But the sad thing about it, uh, niggas gave you the game. Uh, it's one thing about me, uh, Irvin. I knew I was doing wrong when I went to prison. Now, uh, even, even I'm the dumbest motherfucker in the world. I'm not the smartest motherfucker. I think everybody know what they was doing before they ended up where they was at. Hello! Shit. Are you crying, niggas? Nigga, everybody want to I ain't getting a take up. When I got a lot, you know, I said, thank you. And I just stuck my head to the ceiling like this. The whole time in the back of the police car. And I was down to take up, well. Mm -mm -mm. I never forget. I go into that world for about get two days. I don't say nothing. I don't look around. I go back to my bunk, get in that my take my little old quilt, put it over my head, and curl up on a little bit and go to sleep. Hoping when I wake up, I'm not here no more. <laughs> Hoping when, they, when I wake up and take Put the on my head. I wasn't dreaming. I'm in this for real. Uh, see all that shit that them niggas heard about? Now, now they see about it. They seeing about it. See, they heard about the niggas being locked up. They heard about the story, the war story, the prison, prison story. Now they in that motherfucker looking like, damn, cool. Motherfucker won't even give me nothing to write. Man. I can't. Sit down, bitch. Who got a horn? Then these niggas will jump into something fast. What you need down this week? Here, man, you got some weed, huh? I think had a blunt, nigga. Ain't no blunts, nigga. Talk about motherfucking blunt. Shut your bullshit ass up, nigga. You ain't in the world. Niggas coming out of the world, I need a blunt, man. Anybody got a blunt? No more. Come on, cuz. Me get you some of that goddamn toilet paper paper over there. Or you can commit the ultimate sin today. Which one you wanna do? You gonna roll up with the toilet papers or you gonna commit the ultimate sin? Does anybody know what the ultimate sin is? Ultimate scene. Yes, sir. Rolling with scripture. You niggas gotta be the most craziest motherfuckers. I, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. I did indulge one time. But I told God I'd never do it again. I got tired of smoking Matthew. I got tired of smoking Luke. If I'd have known what I know now, Back then, I wouldn't have never smoked no Bible paper. Everybody smoked Bible paper. I like tell him, what, what, what? I like, damn, this shit real hard. What is that? He said, well, it's that Bible paper. Bible paper? Then what happened to the road? We ran out of papers. Oh, God, damn. This motherfucker takes like ink and everything. Yeah, I do. Well, shit, that's all we got. Bible paper, you want it? Some, so I started smoking the Bible paper while I was locked up. This, 
when I was on um, Lindsay unit, bullshit unit, I, I was still smoking on that unit. I didn't smoke on Ferguson. When I get out, I would smoke the paper, and sometimes I would roll it. It's, you know, I was not church boy. I just, you know, something ain't right about us. What these motherfuckers? And I swear to God, every time I read whatever was on that Bible paper, it had a word for me. <laughs> I've been giving me every time before I smoke it. Smoke it. I need me a cigarette. See, ain't nobody got squares in, but anyway, man, uh, to answer your question, them niggas is in trouble. They out of there. Them niggas in trouble. They out of there, man. Y'all brothers, uh, like I told um, Urban, man, quit, quit, quit putting yourself places that you know you don't want to be. And then getting to get the crime to the public like the public going to goddamn me uh, run to your rescue. I, it's a shame. I, I'm sorry, Urban, I got to say. It's a shame how they bringing Drake and all these niggas into that case. Don't nobody want to be in all that shit, man. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, it, you know nigga be sitting around, you be like, hey. no, Urban, your name came up in OG Percy trial. <gasps> what? Nigga, I know the nigga who says I'm good. I, and, and matter of fact, I ain't say nothing. Probably when your whole ass niggas over to say something, put the name in. Well, you know, he used to be on um, Urban Politician. Y'all go subpoena Urban. Urban, okay, come on now, man. Come on, y'all just going too fucking far. He don't got nothing to do with this shit, man. I'm the one in trouble. What fuck? Go get something. Why? Everybody getting picked out. Sad thing about it, niggas. I'm tell you niggas something. I got to say this from the eyes. Uh, Johnny Crockett is gone. They've been trying to get their leg back now. We got They got two fish on the line. You can decide if you want to be fish number three. Hello! Did they hear that for? They only got two fish on the line right now. You decide if you want to be fish number three. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, man, Andrew Tate was all over the internet. I started seeing him. I couldn't really, I didn't have time to really get into what he really had going on. Right. I just know he was making moves out here on the internet, but it seemed like he was having his way, lifestyle and luxury and all that. But man, mm -hmm. we don't know if he guilty or not. I say innocent until proven guilty. Them some serious charges to be facing mm -hmm. for anybody, especially across overseas. I don't know how that's play out over there. But it seems his dog was going through it, man, and he letting it know, be known on the internet how we done seen a lot of times is real back there for him. Hmm. So niggas just got to know, dog, go and do your best to go ahead and stay out here. What? Everybody make mistakes, but do your best to make the minimum. You know what I'm saying? That's how we pushing on here, man, for sure. Right.